Hey guys, welcome back. Till the last lecture, we complete the controller specs for all resource action and custom actions for the user's controller. Now from this lecture, we will move towards learning the request specs. And since the R spec version 3.5, the official recommendation of Rails team and the R spec core team is to write request specs instead of controller specs. Because request specs allow you to focus on a single controller action, but unlike controller tests, it involves the router, middleware stack, and both rec request and responses. Okay, this adds realism to the test that you are writing, and it helps you to avoid many of the issues that are common in the controller specs. Now one can think that uh, then why I created controller specs just to show you that how to write controller specs because suppose if you get chance to work on an application which is exist in the Rails 3 or Rails 4 and they are using the controller specs because they are the request specs you will never find so how to deal with that so you must have idea about the controller specs as well so that's why I explained the controller specs before the request specs and now we will only deal with the request specs okay so let's start with a very basic example of the request specs here and then we will keep adding requests for other examples as well so there are two ways to create request specs okay you can either create it manually or you can use the r spec generator to generate the required spec file and in the spec file you can see that we have uh, directories like controllers factories models support and you just need the request specs uh, inside the spec directory okay so if you create your first request spec manually then what you need to do you need to click a new folder inside the uh, spec directory and then you can create your uh, file name with uh, whatever your file name is there underscore spec dot rb okay but i will use the r spec generator to generate the is, uh, request spec for the user feature to test the integration test for the users controller or whatever the user resource that i am performing like create index update delete edit show whatever so okay so what we need to do just switch to the terminal first not the controller and here we need to use the rails r spec generator to use uh, to generate the request spec so what we can do here rails g then spec sorry r spec then request okay and then provide your request spec name or whatever the resource you want to test into that request spec that you are working on or whatever the requests that you are want to are trying to test okay so name doesn't matter you can provide any name here but since we are doing it for users resource so we will just provide the username here okay and then just run this command and you will see that once this command run you can find the file inside the request directory so the first the directory will get created inside the spec and then here you can see that user spec inside the spec request directory and here you can also see that uh, default examples added by the generator itself so if you try to create it manually then what you need to focus that you just need to mention this type request with your request spec okay and then you can write any example there okay and now if you want to check uh, with the controller spec you can just see in the controller spec that wh wherever we are using the index section we, what we are doing that we just mentioned the http verb here and then we providing the action name here we are not using the routing here but here you can see that we are using get as rails route or this route is defined inside the routing file as the user resource so get users path okay and what is this expecting that once we, uh, your request go to the index section of the users controller or users path then it should return the http status as 200 okay so let's uh, try this default example that is generated and uh, i just wanted to tell you that this example will gonna fail okay why because we did not allow any user to sign in here and we added the before action authentication so if you run this example now your spec will get failed okay so what we need to do here just switch to the terminal and run this spec like r spec spec request and then user spec dot rb okay and you will see that your spec will get failure because you need to allow a user to be signed in first okay so just like controller what we can do here to get user sign in here you can see that we used the let block 
to create the user and then we use the before each hook to get this user sign in okay so just copy this and use this in your request spec before the describe log and now user will get sign in but again when you run this spec this spec will get all will get fail also okay for example let's try this you will see that undefined method sign in okay because we did not configure the device for the request specs okay and you can see in the rails helper dot rv that here uh, in the last you can see that what uh, we did for the controller specs that config dot include device test controller helpers and then type controllers okay so what we need to do here we just need to do the same configuration for our request specs as well and here we will add device test integration helpers and type request okay so let's do this config dot include and then device test and here you need to provide integration helper okay and then just to mention the type here that is request so type and request Okay, save it and now run your spec again on the terminal and now this time your spec will get passed why because we configured the device for request spec as well and here you can see one example zero failure okay and now let's try to understand that what we did in this uh, user spec uh, sorry the user request uh, that we did not try this example and it is generated by the generator itself and we just use this let and before each hook to get user sign in and then try to visit the index space okay so this is a very basic example of request spec for this lecture and as we move forward we will keep learning and knowing more steps about request specs okay and in the next lecture we will try a more detailed request spec example okay but this is all for this lecture okay and let's try this lecture at your end and we will meet into the another lecture till then tata goodbye take care and Stay safe.